In this example, let's say a person drops a basketball from some height, and we want to know what speed is the basketball going when it hits the ground. So height, here is h, so this is state one, right when it's dropped, and state two, right before it hits. Now, if we're given the mass of the ball and the drop height, then we need to find velocity just before it hits. So in this case, we start with free body diagram. We see what forces are acting on it. Only gravity. Okay, so that's good. Um, then we assign a coordinate frame. So we'll say here, we'll put y in this direction. And this is our baseline. Next, we can apply work and energy. So energy at one plus work from one to two equals energy at two. Well, if we look at this, there's no pushing and there's no friction. So work is zero. Then energy is conserved. If there is no work done, then energy is conserved. Potential energy at one plus kinetic energy at one equals potential energy at two plus kinetic energy at two. Well, if we look at state one, does it have kinetic, potential, or both? Well, right at the top, when it gets dropped, its initial velocity is zero. Then it accelerates until it hits the ground. So we know that up here, it has a height, so it has potential energy but its velocity is zero, so there's no kinetic. So we have m, g, h for potential and nothing for kinetic. Now here at state two, the ball is right at ground level. So it has no potential energy. However, it is moving, so it has kinetic. So I'll have one half m v squared. If we're given some numbers in here, say m is 0.5 kilograms and h is one meter. Well, we go back to here, the mass is canceled, so it actually doesn't matter what is the mass, and then we get 2 g h square root equals v, so that is square root of 2 times 9.81 times 1, so V equals 4.43 meters per second. So looking at this, this formula right here should actually look kind of familiar. So this is G H equals 1 half v squared. Well, thinking back to our projectile motion equations, we had vy squared equals vy initial squared minus 2 times g times y minus y initial. Well, if we plug in the numbers from this problem to projectile motion, we'll get that v squared equals zero minus two g h. Except actually y initial is the h, y is zero, so that's plus two g h. V equals square root of two g h. So you can see the projectile motion equations are actually derived from the work in energy. It just ends up happening that because there are no other forces, then the masses cancel and you get these same equations.